violin has an inlaid strip around the back and the top called the purfling and it's made of three thin strips of wood a black a white and a black and to get the blacks you dye some of the white and uh, today we're going to go visit a natural dyer who's been working on that for us So we've come out to Casadero to meet Marilyn Buss, who's a natural dyer, and she's been working on dyeing the purfling strips black for us. I'm Marilyn Buss, and uh, natural dyeing is my hobby, uh, and I specialize in mushroom dyeing, although I do a lot of different things experimentally. I got into dyeing through my mushroom club, uh, which is known as SOMA. I'm wearing their shirt. Sonoma County Mycological Association. There is a woman in Sonoma County, Dorothy Beebe, who is a, a famous authority on mushroom dyeing. She illustrated the book on mushroom dyeing. And this is mushrooms for dyes, paper, and pigments, and microsticks. So this is the authoritative book. If anyone's interested in um, dying with mushrooms, this is a good uh -huh. place to start. And, and you've been dyeing these uh, wood strips for us, so uh, can, yes. you, can you show us how that's been going? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, um, I, I, I sent Marilyn some of these strips of wood, and why don't you tell us um, what you've been okay. doing to dye them black? All right, the very first thing I did was I was trying to figure out what might be a good starting point. Uh -huh. And there is this one mushroom, it's really very cool. Um, it's called Anulo Hypoctuan Thorazianum. That's a common name, which is uh, um, carbon balls. They, they pop out on wood that's just like uh, hardwoods that are just recently dead. So okay. they're like oak trees? Yeah, oak, and uh, here I see, see, this is what I ran into. <laughs> is it actually, it turned a nice dark color, but it uh -huh. didn't stay. Maybe so, it's more of a powder than an actual chemical. Yeah, I think, I think it is. And uh, there are some, some uses of that kind of thing. You can mix them with wax and make crayon type of things. They're called mygo sticks. Uh -huh. And then you can draw with them. So oh, okay. um, I think it might work for that. Tannin is one of the, the typical mordants for okay. um, cellulose. And uh, so I thought this would be a good start. And then if you mix it with iron, uh -huh. you get very dark colors. So that's what, what I did ultimately. I cooked it for about eight hours and then just let it sit for two days uh -huh. in each of these baths. So I started out with tannin. And then I ended up uh, putting it in an iron bath. This was the sample stick oh, that yeah. I made, and, uh, oh, yeah. and this was it, this was the the one, and uh, this was the carbon huh. balls, and they turned out pretty well on that uh, walnut wood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, iron and, and tannin together make make, make black. black. <laughs> so you can get uh, tannin, like make your own. There's actually a few things that you can do. Uh, this one here is um, is like this is ac acorn water. That's great. So, so that, this is Sonoma County tannin, right here. Oh, you bet. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it is. Well, I like to uh, grind up the acorns and use them for flour, and then when you're when you're leaching them out, you end up with uh, this the tannin water, and you know okay. it's a shame to just pour it out so okay I save a lot so, of it so you save everything yeah but, but but this part is actually edible what would you make out of it um you can make muffins and all kinds of stuff uh-huh yeah does it have a strong flavor it has a distinctive flavor yeah, yeah. I actually I made some muffins to share with you oh really yeah but oh, they fantastic. don't they don't <laughs> um they don't taste a whole lot like acorn because I had a lot of sugar <laughs> oh okay so what did you do for the for the iron for the iron, I used, um, this is the, the bath. Wow, that's a nice color. Yeah, it was a nice color. And I'm, I'm working on some more. This is how you make 
an iron solution is you use um, like something iron, nails, rusty so you got some nails. Old nails in there. It looks yeah, like, yeah, old nails, and then you you do a mixture of vinegar and water, uh -huh. and then you let it sit around. Um, let's let's get the let's get a look at the the um, okay the dyed shavings. Oh wow. Well, those, those are nice and black. Can I, yeah. I'm gonna just grab yeah, it. watch your fingers. Grab one. Yeah. And that looks fabulous. This is another mushroom, totally. This is one that I thought was a candidate. Uh -huh. um, it's called uh, Pisolithus uh, tinctorius. So that was a lovely color, but it wasn't uh, what I was it's looking not black, for. black, right. Yeah. I just want to show you how it's going to work. So we'll. we'll oh, uh, okay, yeah. I'm just going to take these and glue them together, just like that. And what wow. it does is it actually, well, the top is pine, which is quite splittable, and it actually binds that edge together to, to resist the cracking. Oh, I see. So Not just totally decorative. Yeah, it's, that, vi huh? it's visual and functional. Yeah. Yeah, like so many things on the violin. Yeah. Well, you know what happens is when you get started on some of these things, like... Uh, like say mushroom dyeing, uh -huh. um, why then it just kind of goes on and on. It leads into other things. Yeah, right. now I'm into um, into uh, dyeing with other plants. This is uh, Flavopunctilia. It will give you, with any sort of luck, a purple dye. Goodness. Thanks. I mean, that sounds like magic to me. If I, it, if I was going to guess, I'd say it gives you a green dye. Yeah, yeah. because you think, well, if it's a a red mushroom is going to be red, uh -huh. but that's not, not necessarily not true. Oh, interesting. This is blackberry something. There you go. This is one I've been saving for years and years. Is that the item you're dying, or is that just to hold the berries? That's that's actually to hold the yarn. Oh, so there's yarn inside. Yeah. Okay. Right now it's mushroom season, uh, so I'm doing. Um, Okay. A lot, a lot of mushrooms. Lot of mushrooms. Right. It's it's the time. I've done in the last couple of weeks. I did these dye baths. This one, which is my my favorite, this is a, a purple that I got from um, this mushroom over here, which is Umphalotus olivescens. Wow! I just found these yesterday, and I was so excited. You'll notice with these. Um, what you're looking for is this sort of a of a gold but olivey color, uh -huh. and then the the gills go all the way down the, the not all the way but uh -huh. they go down. It's called the current. These are bioluminescent mushrooms, oh. and they actually worked last night. I put them in my bathroom and shut the door, and uh, by golly, these two did it, and this one did it. They actually glow in the dark. Yes. It's that's amazing. amazing. Yeah, it, this one is is nicknamed the uh, jack o' lantern mushroom, oh, and that's okay. why. Oh, that's why. Yeah, that's amazing. So when I dyed this, uh, this was my first batch, and I was super happy with it because a lot of times uh, you don't get actual purple, you get gray. And then this was my my first dip, first bath they call uh -huh. it. This one was the second. You can see it got lighter. And here on my third bath, I'm still trying to squeeze something out of it. And then this was my second uh, dye bath that I did with this. And then for some reason, the second dip was like this. Uh -huh. And then this one I actually added iron to because you can use iron to change color to it's a, a color uh -huh. shifter. And then this one here was is a, another interesting one, another big mushroom, Gymnopolis. They're about they're oh, big mushrooms. Wow, wow. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, they just give you a yellow just about what you'd expect. So, I just oh. want to show you that um, you get a lot of different colors oh, from goodness. mushrooms. This is all from one symposium that I went to and these were all the dye baths that people worked on. Wow. These are a couple of, of little pieces that are like little bowl forms that I made with uh, felt. And um, another one that I've done is, is this piece here. This is um, called Nuno felting, which is uh, applying thin pieces of, of the fiber to a backing. Uh -huh. So that's got a black silk in it, but you can see the fall of this is uh -huh. is more like a scarf than right, right. Say, than trying to wear a bowl around your Pretty neck. Pretty nice.
Acorn muffins. Good acorn muffin. I've got my perfuming shavings here. So I'm really happy with these. I think they came out really well. And, and thanks very much for being part of this project. Oh, you're, you're entirely welcome. It was, it was fun. It was a challenge. And, uh, uh -huh. and I did some different things, which was always Good. great. Th that's exactly yeah. what's been happening for me. It's, it's yeah. been both of those. <laughs> so I've got these lovely, lovely strips here. And uh, by the end of next week, this is going to be installed in the violin. <laughs> Very happy with these. <laughs>